Well, good morning and welcome to another video on the Autovlog YouTube channel. It's been a lot of videos on this F-150 lately. We haven't really been uh, dealing with the Raptor much, but some of you might remember that when uh, we got these wheels powder coated, I said that I was going to get black lug nuts for uh, the Raptor. They are now here and I've put them on one of the wheels just to show you guys and see what you like best. So if we take a look here, and uh, yes, I know the wheels are dirty. These have the original lug nuts on there. And take a look at the wheel where I just put the new lug nuts on, and I know. Wheels are extremely dirty, so it's not really <laughs> a good comparison, but if I just do a hand wipe down here, you can see for yourself. I think it looks a lot better, especially when I clean the truck up and the wheels. It looks better to me, at least, with black lug nuts. But uh, let me know what you guys think. We'll take a look at the uh, previous wheel with the stock lug nuts once more. But my wife is about to uh, take the Raptor and go to work, so I can't finish more than one wheel right now. But uh, that's okay, because in today's video, we have another mod for the F-150. All right, she's about to leave here. What do you think, honey? I put the uh, black lug nuts on there. Oh, wow. You think it looks better? Oh my gosh, yeah. It looks like finished or something. <laughs> right. You know, like just like a, like a... I mean, it's dirty and everything. We need to clean the truck up here. It's it's not the best uh, uh, moment to really film this because the wheels are so damn dirty. But you can still see the difference from stock lug Absolutely. nuts. Absolutely. You know, the, the silver ones versus the black ones. Yeah, I mean, I guess at first I was kind of thinking, I don't know if that would look as good. I kind of like the contrast. But, no, I like the black. Okay, cool. It's nice, babe. We got a thumbs up from the you wifey. You always uh, make the right choice, seems like. <laughs> well, thank you, honey. I bet there's the wheel going to fall off because you did it. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. No, I torqued them down 150 <laughs> pound feet. I'll be like driving down the road. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. All right, so now that my wife is gone, it actually frees up some room in our tight driveway here also our slanted driveway because i'm gonna have to reposition the truck for what we're about to install today extremely excited about this something that i wanted to do earlier but couldn't i'll get to that in a second here beautiful day by the way warm not a cloud in the sky about 85 degrees maybe not quite yet but it is going to be climbing up to it I had to switch out my t-shirt because i was already sweating Woo! it's warm in here Yeah, I know that wasn't much of a difference in the positioning of the truck, but for what we're about to do, I need as much access to each side. It's kind of, oh, I didn't have much room on this side. So we have another package in the mail, extremely exciting. And it is, of course, something that matches the headlights that we have already. Yep, the Anso LED taillights. And I think these look badass. They are awesome so we're gonna have a full led daytime running light strip right here so let's get them installed but before we do that i want to take one minute and give a special thanks to movement watches who are actually sponsoring today's video if you guys follow this channel you know how much i love this company i've worked with them before and the reason i do that is because i love watches i love the way they look however i'm not the type of guy that wants to spend thousands of dollars on a watch just to have an accessory that is why i go with movement because they look like they cost a lot more these watches start at 95 bucks and go up to about 150. their selection is awesome they have watches for men women they have sunglasses they are bracelets they are sold exclusively at mvmt.com that is also to keep prices down for you guys if they were to go into retail stores prices go up now what i also like is that they always update their inventory everything is new and fresh this is a new model they have i love the strap pure leather how do i know that you can smell it so the reason i'm telling you guys this is because you are subscribers to this channel and as subscribers to this channel you get 15 bucks off your purchase 
when you go to mvmt.com and pick something up for yourself, your wife, your friend, your family member, what have you. All you have to do is use the promo code autovlog15 at checkout and save 15 bucks off your purchase. With that being said, let's get these headlights installed. So what we got to do, of course, is start with taking the old ones off. It's actually an extremely simple process. All you'll need is a ratchet 5 16 socket. We have two screws right here on each side, of course, and that will remove the taillight. One, two. So pretty simple. And then just remove the old bulbs. And there we have it. Now a slight correction, you don't of course have to take the bulbs out. You can just uh, remove the connector anyhow, but I don't know why I did that. <laughs> so then we move on to the Anso LED tail light and installing that of course. Everything is already pre-wired. You have everything you need here, it's just plug and play. Now you'll also see that it comes with a resistor. This is to uh, correct the rate of flash and it's gonna be stuck to the vehicle. So we're just gonna remove the protective tape and stick it on there. Just press it for a few seconds and then plug and play. And we'll start with the last one. Man, it's hot outside. Make sure that it works. Oh yeah. Time to tighten it up. Looks phenomenal. Tighten the last one up. All right, so there we have it, boys and girls. They are on i mean this was such a simple install and if this is something i can do trust me <laughs> anyone can do this now the design of them is like a 3d type look that they uh went for and i love it um i've seen some reviews that people don't like how it kind of sticks out here where it's more bulky i i dig it it, it just it makes the truck look beefier from the rear and and the lights aren't even on right now now there are a couple different like companies and versions of, of LED rear tail lights you can buy for the F-150. These Ansel ones definitely get the best reviews out of all of them out there that I've seen at least personally. You're supposed to see these lights on when, it, when it's darker. So what we're going to do is we're going to back out the AMG and then I'm going to back the truck in here so we have a little darker light setting in here and then we'll really see what they look like with the lights on now for anyone that are interested in these type of lights and you have an f-150 yourself and you somehow bumped into this video right here there are links in the description where you can find these lights and get them for your own truck Okay, so this way I'll at least be able to get the ass end of the truck into the garage as the whole thing doesn't fit.
All right, so here we are. Let's check it out. I mean, it is pretty dark in here. The only light you guys see is obviously coming from outside there. But in here, it is pretty dark. So I think this will do the new LED tail lights justice. Let's check them out. Just hit the unlock button here. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that, man. That looks good. That looks really good. Now, it looks like it's supposed to light up here, but you know they, they don't do that even on Lariat and above uh, F-150 that has the LED tail lights. They don't light up here. Now, as I mentioned earlier, a lot of people don't like the bulkiness of these 3D style tail lights. If you have a, a higher trim level F-150, they the rear tail lights are bulkier as well because it has the bliss right here. It sticks out on this part. But I, I think it looks absolutely awesome. Truck looks beefier. Very, very happy with it. Now the first generation of these Anso headlights uh, got some criticism because the actual LED strip in the light here, it was like individual LED lights. So it looked kind of cheap. Sort of like a, a Walmart version or something like that. But they did upgrade it. So, I mean, I think it looks absolutely awesome. Very, very happy with this. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I was planning on doing this with the headlights and the grill install at the same time. But for some reason, it just took longer for the taillights to arrive. And I got a lot of comments from people like, you gotta get the taillights. And I had planned that all along. And now they are here. Love them, what do you guys think? All right, I'm gonna pull the truck back out again and we'll take another look at the actual design of the tail light. It's a little hard to see in here. Uh, I mainly backed it in here so we could see the uh, LED strip. Let it rip, again. Man, I just love modding this truck. It looks so damn good. Oh, look at this monster, man. This thing looks sick. I love the design. I love it. I love it. Fitment is good as well. Yeah, I'm happy with it. Real happy with it. It's coming along, boys and girls. It is coming along. Wow, that is awesome. Now, if you missed the previous video, you might not know that we do have wheels and lift kit coming for the truck. The wheels that I want are on back order. That's why uh, it's gonna take until about the second week of June until I have them, planes, as usual. But just know that it is coming. And my thoughts are uh, get a new front bumper because we're of course getting it dechromed. But the rear bumper, I'll probably just keep that and have it blacked out. That's what I'm thinking. I haven't really seen that many rear bumpers aftermarket wise that I really, really like. But I think the truck would look good with the stock bumper just blacked out. I don't know, wrap it or I'm not a huge fan of plastic dip, but maybe we can even do that. Something just get it black. And when the truck is lifted, I will most likely remove the running boards as well. And maybe get some amp running boards to power deploying ones. Not sure yet, but uh, we'll figure it out. Now, when you're standing from a distance, you can't really tell as much that the uh, lights stick out, that they have that 3D design to them. You, you sort of can on the left one. Basically, when you get up close to the truck. But then again, I like it, so I don't mind whatsoever. That's the main complaint that I've uh, heard in uh, reviews and stuff, that people don't like the design. But yeah, with the risk of uh, sounding very repetitive, I like it. So, this is the fourth video in a row on the F-150. I hope you guys aren't getting bored. I've, I've said it in, in the previous videos. I, I didn't plan for it to become some kind of, you know, build series with videos back to back. It just kind of happened that way. Got some questions regarding the C here. It's doing just fine, except for the damn windshield. I mentioned that in the previous video. Crack has uh, spread on the windshield big time. Waiting for a new one to come in here. We have plans for uh, this car. Got some stuff coming up, absolutely. I haven't forgotten about it. It's just that we've uh, focused more on the F-150 here lately. But with that being said, I think we're gonna end this video with about maybe a 20 second POV in the bends. All right, here we have the uh, windshield crack, by the way. Hopefully you guys can see that. It is, uh, yeah, big. Spread a little bit. Traffic, traffic. Check washer fluid. 
So you do a pull and then you get a check washer fluid light. <laughs> That's a first. Okay, so we just got home from driving the Benz, and I guess I didn't do a very good job of uh, comparing the new taillight to the old one. So if we sort of get them next to each other here, see there's a big difference in one design, and then of course the way they light up as well. But yeah, I think I've uh, babbled on for long enough in today's video, and I think that's gonna do it. I hope you guys enjoyed this upload. I sure did. If you did, give it a thumbs up and if you're stopping by for the first time and you haven't already and you want to please subscribe there's a lot more content to come your way i'll see you next time bye bye